In this video, we're going to have a look at the server certificate connection error when creating a new connection with SQL Server in Azure Data Studio. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. When you create a new connection in Azure Data Studio, you may see this connection error message. A connection was successfully established with the server, but then an error occurred during the login process. The error, the certificate chain was issued by an authority which is not trusted. So under what circumstances do we see this error and what should we do about it? So I'm going to click on close and cancel to get me back to a blank Azure Data Studio screen. And then under connections, I'm going to add a connection to a new server by clicking on this plus. So I'll click on a server that I've previously used and click connect and that generates the error. So what's happening? More recent versions of Azure Data Studio have enabled encryption on any new connections. This means that data sent between you and the server is encrypted so that it cannot be easily intercepted en route. However, as part of the encryption process, Azure Data Studio checks the server certificate for your SQL server. Now, if you're using Azure SQL Database, then that does support encrypted connections and will have a trusted certificate. So you will not see this dialog box. However, if you're connecting to on-premises SQL Server or SQL Server in a virtual machine, then Azure Data Studio checks to see if the SQL Server that you're connecting with has a certificate from a trusted certificate authority. In other words, one that you pay for and then you authenticate who you are. So that's why it is a trusted certificate. If, however, you installed, for instance, SQL Server Developer or Express on your computer, you will not have a certificate from a trusted certificate authority. It will be a self-signed certificate. So you've got two options. Firstly, you can ask whoever is administering your SQL Server to get a certificate from a trusted certificate authority. However, that will take time and a bit of money. Alternatively, you can say, I want to trust the self-signed server certificate that is on the connection. Now notice, it says a self-signed certificate offers only limited protection and is not a recommended practice for production environments. So if you've got a production environment, in other words, you have installed SQL Server on a server at your office, it should ideally have a certificate from a trusted certificate authority and then this error won't come up. If you don't have that, so you're connecting, say, to your own machine, a developer edition, you can click on Enable Trust Server Certificate. If I close this, an alternate way of doing this is when you're connecting, go down to the Trust Server Certificate and change it from the default false to true. And now when you connect, then it trusts your server certificate, whether it is self-signed or whether it is from a trusted certificate authority. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more information about how to use Azure Data Studio, then there will be a video link on the end screen coming up. Please click on it to find out how to use Azure Data Studio. If you'd like some help creating your TSQL select statements, then please go to my website, idodata.com where you will see a variety of courses about SQL Server. Or why not have a look on this YouTube channel to see more videos? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not click that like and subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thank you very much for watching and keep learning.